why we're all here doing what we're doing. There she is. Our next speaker is Dr. Stephanie Brown. She is a life coach, a family physician, and an energy guru. She helps women of color over overcome anything standing in their way of living their best life. Hello. We all want to be successful podcasters, right? That's why we're here. So let me ask you something. Do you sometimes stay up late at night working on your podcast only to wake up in the morning exhausted with no energy? I'll admit that was me, but I don't do that anymore. Now I don't operate on empty. I do more things and have more energy. And I want to show you how you can do that too. I am going to share with you four energy principles that can change your life. We know that we have a global energy crisis. There's famine, there's hunger. People are dying based on the abundance or scarcity of energy. I don't know about you, but I've taken up riding my bike more as a hobby now that the gas prices are so high. Often, we hear that on an individual level, there are some personal energy crises. After a pandemic and multiple assaults to our humanity, like she just mentioned, Many of us are drained personally. We often hear that time is our greatest resource. Time is a great resource, but I've often had situations where I had plenty of time and no energy. During my third year of medical school, I suffered with a bout of depression, and I had plenty of time. It felt like time stood still, but I had no energy and was not able to be productive. I also hear a lot of times that our health is our wealth. And it is, I agree. As a physician, I know how important our health is. But have you ever had a circumstance where you were in optimal health, but you didn't have the spiritual or emotional energy to take advantage of that health? And sometimes we don't even have enough energy to invest in our health. We don't have the energy to work out and eat healthy so that we can really be in optimal health. I would like to propose that energy is our greatest resource. When we have the energy to do what we need, we can really succeed. So I want to give you some tips on how you can maximize your level of engaged energy. The two things that really drain our energy are stress and judgment. When we have a lot of stress and when we judge ourselves and others as either being right or wrong, it increases the amount of catabolic energy that we have, which drains us. And I apologize in advance if you have a fear of heights with this image like I do. But the point of this image is to show that once we release that catabolic energy, we can soar, we can um, expand, and we can really reduce our stress. Have you ever gotten out of a toxic relationship and literally felt like a weight was lifted from your shoulders? That's what happens when we release catabolic energy. Every thought, every behavior, and every emotion we have has an energetic consequence. It either has a catabolic consequence and it drains us, or an anabolic consequence and it causes us to thrive. When we don't have, when we have too much catabolic energy, we don't have a lot of engaged energy and we're not able to be productive. And it just does not feel good. So we think that we have to manage our time, right? We have to manage our time. But it's actually more effective to manage our energy. I used to make the mistake of not matching up the tasks with the energy that I had. I'm here to admit that I no longer try to edit my podcast at 3 p.m. when I'm having an energetic slump. <laughs> In order to have maximal engaged energy, we also need to be fully present. And these are the four principles that I wanted to tell you about. The first one is we have to engage in all four aspects of energy. So that's physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Think about it this way. You want your surgeon to be well-rested, calm, even keel, and focused. That's maximum engaged energy. 
The second principle is we need to balance the amount of energy we're putting out with the amount of energy we're, giving, we're putting in. You can't give or pour from an empty cup, and self-care helps to fill your cup. The third principle is that we have to increase capacity by uh, being like a seasoned athlete and systematically training ourselves. And the fourth and final principle is that we have to have high positive energy rituals. When we do positive energy rituals, like setting that good bedtime, we can increase our capacity and maximize our engaged energy. Make sure you send me a message on the Hoover app and let me know which of the four principles resonates with you.